Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your MacBook to an Epson projector. In this video, I'm using the Epson Powerlite 83 Plus. So I know this is an older projector, but now there are newer projectors that have HDMI capability. So all you need to do to summarize that up is find the HDMI port and find the HDMI port on your, on your computer. Or if you need an adapter, just plug it into this adapter and plug it in. And then you'll be offset. <laughs> you don't need all these cables. But if you have an older projector like I do, the Epson Powerlite 83 Plus, I'm going to show you how to do this step by step. So what you'll need is an VGA cable. I have two adapters because my computer does not have uh, HDMI. And then audio cable. And of course, your projector with power for the projector. So first step is so the first step is locating the vga ports if you have the same projector so you want to grab your vga cable you can plug it in on one or oops you can plug it in on one or two it doesn't matter but just know here let me grab this cable you just need to know that vga does have its way it, the way it goes so i'm gonna plug it in on one but as you can see if i put it the wrong way it doesn't go in so you need to plug it in the right way there we go it went in and then you can tie this not all the if you don't want to do it all the way just a little bit so it doesn't fall off so then we'll put our projector back. Great, now you have this VGA port, but I don't have any VGA port on my MacBook. So what I did was buy a VGA to HDMI adapter. So I'm gonna type this, screw this in. I got this a while back, so I don't even know if they still make these, probably on Amazon or something. So we're gonna tie that, as you can see now it's in. Well, not all the way, but then, okay. Oh wait, but I don't have an HDMI port. I know the newer MacBooks, or if you have a Windows computer, they already have HDMI ports somewhere on the computer. But of course, mine doesn't. So I need this adapter, HDMI to USB-C. So I'm gonna plug in this right here. So I have two adapters, really fancy. And then we're gonna plug it in to any uh, USB-C port. If you have the same computer as me, you should follow these steps. <laughs> Okay, good, we're connected now. So what the next step is to turn on the projector. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. So this is the projector, you wanna push it, turn it on. And then you could open the cover. You could hear it kick in. And as you can see, it says Epson. There you go, we see our computer screen. But as you can see, it's out of focus. It's not the camera, it's out of focus. So you can go ahead and use these things to focus it. This changes the picture size if you want it bigger. So I made it all that, I will do it, I made it all the way bigger. And then this is the focus. So I'm gonna focus this and then show you the screen. Perfect, we're ready to go. So as you can see, it looks yellow on my phone, but it looks fine on the norm, in, real, in real life. So as you can see, it's showing, the. if your image does not automatically show up, you can click on uh, source search. It'll go ahead and look through the inputs. And if it still doesn't show up, there may be there might be something wrong with um, the connection. So make sure you want to maybe like unplug the cable. Let's make sure it's plugged in correctly. Try plugging in everything, and then it'll go ahead and load again. So as you can see now, you see the screen. But wait a minute, you're, what you're seeing is what you're seeing on my screen because you saw the picture. It's you're showing, I'm showing the same thing. If you want to do like a presentation, of course you don't want to show the same thing. So what you can do is go to system settings. And I'm not showing my screen because my screen looks the same like this. And then you want to go down to, sorry, forget that, not system settings. You want to go to this control center on your MacBook. And then you want to click on screen mirroring. And then as you can see, it says Epson PJ for projector. So as you can see, it says mirror built-in retina display. So what you're seeing on my screen, you're seeing it on here. If you want to use it as a separate display, you click use it as a separate display. It's going to go black. And now you see my computer background. But let me show you if you on my computer. Now you're not seeing what's on there. So now if you want to show something, let's just say I open up this video right here. I'm going to show this video. But now you're not seeing it up there. If you want to use it, we drag it right here. We're going to drag it to the right. And then, and then you can see it on here. So now you can make this full screen. And then we could just do like, if it looks like a presentation, it'll be full screen. Perfect. Our video or presentation is going. But I don't hear, well, you, you can turn up the volume, but, oops. What did I do? So you can turn up the volume, but it's coming out of my computer. It's not going to the projector. If you adjust the volume on the projector, it's not doing anything. As you can see, the volume's coming out of my computer. I'm turning up the volume here. So if you're trying to do a presentation or in a classroom, you have to have louder speakers. You just can't use your computer speakers. So this is where the headphone uh, cable or 3.5 millimeter headphone cable kicks in. So what you want to do 
is grab the 3.5 cable and look for it on the computer. So mine is right here. You're gonna, mine is right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in right here. As you can see now, it's connected on Windows computers. It's usually like around here too. And then let me get your view on the projector, to the projector. So as you can see, the Epson projector also has uh, audio one and audio two. Don't get, like don't plug the audio into audio two. You have to plug it into audio one where the VGA cable is connected. If you plug it in on two, you're still not gonna get any sound. So you plug this in to audio two. As you can see, it's plugged in now. Let me show you a view to the projector now. Or now you could open the cap if it wasn't open. And now it's playing to the projector. I can hear it. Oops, let's just, okay. Now you can turn up the volume. Now it's playing on the speaker. Now you can hear it. If it did not come up automatically, you can go to settings. Where'd it go? If you're on the Windows computer, it's usually around in the bottom right corner. It says like audio. So if you did not hear it automatically, you go to, you click on sound, and then you want to click output, and then headphones, because you're technically plugging in a 3.5 cable, millimeter cable, so you're hearing it like it thinks it's headphones. And then once it's there, you should be fine. Now the sound will come out of the projector. So if I click play again, sorry. Now you can hear that. Let's just do another video <laughs> real quick. So as you can see, you get the idea. Now it's playing. You just use the projector to control the volume. Or you might be thinking, well, maybe I don't want to use the projector speaker. It's kind of still too quiet, or you want to use a bigger sound system. Of course, you can do that. Just go ahead and close the door. Just plug in the, the other end from the computer to, the, uh, to another external speaker. But if you already have HDMI, you don't need to plug in this audio cable. The HDMI cable will the HDMI cable will automatically provide sound to the projector already. So if you plug in the HDMI cable, you'll already be good to go. You don't need another external cable. But if you still want to use another external sound system with an HDMI projector, just plug in the headphones, headphone port to another sound system and switch it from Epson to uh, headphones or however it's labeled on your computer. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know and I'll try my best to help you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Bye.